pinche calor. Hola familia Metiche, welcome back to my motherfucking canal. ¿Cómo estás, pinche pendeja? Vete a la verga, pinche pendeja. Come verga, pinche pendeja. Ea, ea, ea. Uh, casi se me iba el pinche aire. But anyways, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today les tengo un video that as soon as I posted this package, y'all lost your shit. Se cagaron. Y'all were like, Alan, we need a review. We need to know if this product is worth it. Y pa que estoy? Pa cumplirles. So today, guys, I have a review on the new, give me a second, bitch, on the new Batty B lashes by Jenny69. Today, I will let you guys know if these lashes son del swat me or if they're bad bitch approved. I will let you know if you need to save your little pesitos for a torta or if you can go ahead and splurge on these fucking lashes. A disclaimer, guys, I do know Jenny69 and that is not not gonna affect my review on these lashes. I'm gonna give you guys an honest as fuck review because at the end of the day, you guys are the ones working extremely hard. I don't want you guys que se queden sin comer no más para agarrar pinches lashes del swapies. I'm gonna be real as fuck. If they're good, they're good. If they're not, they're not. So if you guys wanna go ahead and continue watching this video, entonces, Sigan mirando pendejos. Before we get started into this video, guys, I do want to go ahead and disclaim. If you guys hear like a little sound, como una pinche máquina, it is my AC. I don't know what the hell has been going on con el pinche sol lately, but parece como que no le dieron verga porque está haciendo un chingo de calor. Literally, guys, I literally can make fucking bolis with my sweat. Like, that's how much sweat comes out of my fucking culo. I literally go outside and I feel like I'm a fucking pollo rostizado. But anyways, that is the little sound that is in the back. I cannot turn it off porque si no, me voy a derritir pendejos. Now that we have that little sound disclaimed, we're gonna go ahead and start off with the package. First of all, guys, the logo, here it is. It's BLP. Babosa Lambe Bolas. No, I'm just kidding. This means Batty B Lashes. At first, I'm gonna be completely honest, guys. The logo was kind of difficult for me to understand until I saw the two B's and the L's in the middle and I was like, oh, pendejo, it's Batty B lashes you know what i mean so this is a huge ass fucking cajota is as big as my tetas but it's a really big box we're gonna go ahead and fucking open it so as you guys can see it looks like a little gorita like literally i look like a pothead literally pop head but that's the tapadera and then inside the big ass fucking cajota came um these four lashes that speaks so much if you guys don't know i have my own lash brand so i know how much production is like i know how much it can cost to just make these pr boxes so i really appreciate it that jenny you know spent a little bit more money in the presentation of her lashes because bitch para usar esta pinche cajota nomás para cuatro lashes está chingón so we're gonna go ahead and take out the four fucking lashes Vino una pinche nota and it said Warning, we are not responsible for bad behavior That may occur while wearing these lashes Bitch, I'm already a bad bitch without lashes In the back, you have Batty B Y luego tienes all of the four lashes I honestly do not know If everyone will be getting this Because like I said, this did come in the PR package But if everyone ends up getting these as well like, That would be dope as fuck So if you guys aren't familiar with um, this series The Exposing series Pa' toda la gente que vino nomás porque piensa that I'm gonna talk shit on Jenny Bitch, salgan a la verga Because that is not the type of video If you guys don't know my exposing blah 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 series Are basically my honest as fuck reviews You guys know Yo no tengo pelos en la lengua I have no mind to be kissing no one but my own ass bitch Because honestly some of you bitches asses be stinky as fuck So like this video I'm not gonna be kissing no one's asses Just like in my other reviews I didn't kiss anyone's ass Let's get started Before we start with this actual review guys I do want to let you guys know that I have my own lash brand and that is not like a plug But like if you guys want to shop my lash brand, it will come out really soon I already had it up for like last year, but I'm redoing the whole brand But what I'm trying to say is that I know how much goes into production I know if you buy the lashes from a swap me I know if your lashes are good quality So I'm gonna be able to let you guys know a lot of the behind the scenes shit to see if these lashes are really worth not fucking she has four lashes and I feel like that's a good amount of lashes to come out when your lash is barely launching Just so you can know how much of a response you'll generate from your audience So como pueden ver aquí están las four lashes I really like the holographic boxes They just look pretty dope On the back you have her little logo 
And then she has like this little tag that is used to like pull the lashes out. Some men should really get these tags inserted in their dicks because y'all bitches don't know how to pull out. As you guys could see, no se si pueden escuchar. But it's magnetic, so that is really cool. So you won't ever lose this other little cajita because I'm the type of person that likes keeping my lashes in the cajita that they came in, so that is really cute. And then right there, you guys have the Betty B logo in holographic again. And then you have the fucking pestaña. If you guys see, I don't know if you guys could see, but in the back, allá atrás tiene el nombre de la pinche pestaña, just in case you guys are a pendeja and you lose this little box, she put it in the back as well. So just just by looking at these lashes guys, I'm gonna be straight the fuck honest. If you're a simple bitch, if you're not a bitch that's trying to take flight with their eyelashes, this lash brand is not really for you. My honest opinion, just looking at these lashes, these are freaking dramatic. Estas pinches pestañas can fly you to Mexico in like 0.3 seconds. I don't mind that because I motherfucking like dramatic lashes. Ain't no one have time for like three little pelitos on an eyelash because that's a waste of money and that's some tiangui shit. I'm gonna kind of teach you guys how to put them on and then I'm also gonna give you guys an honest review how flexible the band is how they apply on the eye if they're heavy because the last thing you want is for a fucking lash to weigh five pounds and then you can't even fucking open your eye y te queda ciega, pendeja. so we're gonna go ahead and try these bitches out and see what the hype and the real deal is okay so la pinche primera pestaña que nos vamos a poner es esta esta se llama sugar baby I want a sugar daddy too what the fuck necesito alguien que me pague mi renta ya me harté de trabajar mucho para apenas tener en que caerme muerto so if you're a sugar daddy out there hit me up 714 no I'm just kidding bitch no but seriously we're gonna go ahead and try these lashes out Jenny did say that these are for me so if you're someone that is like cruelty free um, these are not the lash brand for you one thing que si me molesta is when people talk shit about mink lashes yet they're fucking styling in their Louis Vuitton shit in their Gucci shit in their leather car do you fucking know bitch that fucking shit is made out of leather aka a fucking animal so before you talk make sure that you only eat fucking pasto anyways fuck I feel like I'm so angry for this video like ah, parezco perro así se mira esta pestaña I kind of fucked it up getting it out of the box porque tenía un chingo de resustor so this pestaña is really gonna give you guys como un ojito de gato and we're gonna go ahead and cut this lash porque I can see that it has that access right here I don't know if you guys can see like the excess on the sides that always ends up picando el culo I mean my ojo so like I always make sure that I cut it out because bitch I don't want to be chingando luego en el día que me está molestando but make sure you guys put un chingo de glue porque si no no se te va a querer pegar la pinche pestaña I want to go ahead y decir algo this is totally my fault but I don't know if you guys can see aquí en la esquinita where the inner corner part it's bent when I try to take it out of the cajita since there was so much glue Como que la matraté Make sure que no sean pendejos And you guys take it out carefully Because then Te vas a chingar Y no vas a tener ni pestaña So we're gonna go ahead And we're gonna pop these baby on Make sure that the glue Is like literally dried down That way you just literally Have to put it in Y se queda Está más seca que el pinche elbow De tu novio Like literally some guys Be fucking having dried ass elbows Así de fácil me puse esta pestaña. As you guys can see, this is a very dramatic lash. Tiene un chingo de pelos igual que tu panocha. It is very as hell, bitch. This is a comparison with no eyelash and with an eyelash. It doesn't feel heavy at all. It is very furry. Putting on eyelashes con un chingo de pelo is not something you like. Then maybe you're gonna have to pass out on this specific lash because esta sí que está llena de pelos. But it's really nice. It looks very pretty. Mire. Casi vuelo a la verga. So we're just gonna go ahead and put on the second lash. A ver, ojalá que esta no la desmadriemos. This specific type of lash makes your eye shape look like a little almendra, which for a lot of people that looks really cute like on myself I feel like this lash looks very pretty the lash band is super flexible like literally está bailando it's like doing the fucking macarena wow bitch miren que perra mi amiga wow 
Casi parezco pinche prostituta de la Harbor. Low key, I feel like one of them's longer than the other. These are sugar baby, and to be honest, they look super pretty. The only thing that I am noticing, I don't know if the lashes look completely different, like each ojito looks different. Let me zoom you guys in. This one looks como que se está para arriba, como que quiere ver a Dios. And this one looks como que se va a ir al pinche infierno because it's going downwards. I don't know if you guys can see that. And honestly, that ends up happening a lot when you order lashes. Since these are mint, they are handmade. Sometimes some come out more wispier. Una salen para abajo, una salen para arriba. So this is kind of like a factory mess up. But they still look really pretty. If you add more eyeshadow, si te las levantas con el dedo, they do end up looking really nice. I actually do like it. So I'm going to go ahead and take these bitches off. Así de fácil. Se quita. I don't know if you guys can see, but hasta aquí. This one has like the extra um, flur, and this one is like more paya. I don't know if you guys can see it, but maybe that's where the lash goes wrong. You could always cut the extra little pelitos, and maybe it'll look good. The next lash that we're gonna go ahead and try out is called Batty. Y esta se mira así. Esta está bien grandota. Esta sí parece como alitas de pájaro. Again, guys, be very careful cuando la sacas de la cajita because, bitch, si vas a gastar tanto dinero. No quieres que en cuanto las estés sacando se te chingue. Because that ends up happening to me. Tengo la mano dura, so like I always mess up shit. This lash in particular is almost like the same style as Sugar Baby, just that this one has less pelitos. It's more flared out, and I feel like this one está más grande. So we're gonna go ahead, le vamos a poner un poquito de glue. Make sure you guys be putting lash glue, not Elmer's glue, bitch. If you end up blind, no es mi culpa. This one is a little bit more wiggly than the first one, and that can be because it has less pelos. This one's actually really pretty. Miren, parezco avión. It looks a little too dramatic right now because I only have one. But imagine this with a super big cut crease with a long ass eyeliner. Como que esta va a quedar al cien. So this is how this lash looks. Esta como que te abre mucho los ojos because it's very flared out. I be feeling como el piloto de un avión because bitch, quien quiere volar? I don't know if you guys can see, very dramatic. Like I said once again, if you're a simple bitch, te chingaste, no hay nada para ti amiga. No se sienten baratas, but this one is a little bit more wiggly when you try applying it than the first one. So this lash style is very pretty and like always, te las puedes quitar bien fácil. Un dos por tres, amiga. So we're gonna go ahead and take them off and try on the next lash style. A ver si mis ojos no se irritan más. Like literally, guys, my eyes get super irritated because I be poking them, my contacts. Like everyone always thinks que ando marihuano, pero ni fumo. The next lash style, guys, is Instaho, aka me, bitch. Looks like this. It is the most dramatic lash. Probably won't like this one on me because it is extremely big. But I know a lot of people it looks super pretty on. It just depends on your eye type. I really do feel as well like this specific lash style looks extremely pretty with eyeliner. Porque si no vas a parecer abanico. Ojalá que se me mire bonita because I've tried out that kind of lash style before. And for some reason, like it always makes me look super weird because it's super big lash. But when I see other people wearing them se miran bien bonitos que es el pedo con eso low key my culo ya se cansó de estar sentado I barely have a culo y ahora aquí sentándome me lo estoy aplastando más I am really surprised I shouldn't have talked too much shit on it bitch but it looks really pretty miren parezco puta pero de las caras I am literally like obsessed with this lash right now like I thought I wasn't gonna like it because it was gonna look too dramatic on me but I look cute bitch I think so far this one is my favorite it is very furry it is very wispy it makes your eyes look bigger como que si estas despierto ready for the pito a volar se ha dicho it looks like como que si va a durar. I still don't know how long they're gonna last. I did hear Jenny say that they last about for 25 uses. So ojalá que eso sea el caso. So we're gonna take this bitch off. We're gonna put on her last lash style. Ya como que mis ojos están cansando. The last 
lash style is fuck boy. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. This one is the least of all four of the lashes that I'm excited for. If I'm being completely honest, the lash band looks the thinnest. Like this one out of all three looks the thinnest. Let me go ahead and show you guys the other two. So this one is the one I just had on. The lash band looks super thick and black. And then this one, se mira mas delgado que mi pinche pelo. I don't know if you guys can tell. I have a feeling I'm not gonna talk too much, but I have a feeling this one will kind of last less than the three. But we're gonna go ahead and put it to the test. Hopefully it looks pretty because on here it looks like fucking spider legs. And this one has pelos all around. It's kind of like insta ho with less pelo. This one feels very like chafita. This one out of the three is the only one that feels chafita. Literally I feel like if I pull it, it's gonna break. But let's see, bitch. A la mejor me equivoqué en juzgarla. It is super flared out. I don't know if you guys can tell, which means that's gonna give you a really nice flirty effect. Oh, that actually looks really pretty. I would say esta es como the least dramatic. Aunque si están bien largo los pelitos, it does look the least dramatic. Ya puesta, si se mira bonita. It literally looks como si me saqué todos mis pinches pubes de los huevos y me los puse en el ojo. But it doesn't look bad. Ya las dos puestas se mira bonito. But I am gonna say, guys, that this one does feel the cheapest out of the four lashes. Ya cuando le pones mascara, se mira bien bonito. And it makes your ojitos look like ojotes. Sorry if I keep looking that way. Ashley's like over here fucking comiendo chetos. Y como que se me antojan, pero ando en mi pinche dieta. That I can't. If I have to choose between three, I would say these. La que me gustó de todas fue Instaho. It was the one I tried on before this one. Because it really made my ojos look very open, very dramatic. If you guys have to ask me which one I don't like out of the four, it would be this bitch. And I'm not talking about the style. I'm talking more about the quality of this lash in particular. Because el estilo se mira bien bonito. This is it for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this review. I already said what I had to say. If anyone gets butt hurt, me vale verga. I really hope you guys enjoyed my honesty and I really hope that you guys, you know, go ahead and support Jenny. It's not easy to create your own brand because you generally do have to try out so many vendors, so many lash styles, so many lash qualities. So I give her props. One thing I do have to say, guys, is I wouldn't pay any more than like $21. I honestly do not know how much the lashes are, but if you guys are going to be paying like 30 bucks Mejor traguense esos 30 dólares en tacos I do know guys that these lashes did launch today So if you guys want to go ahead and shop them I will leave a link down below Where you guys can go ahead and purchase them Today's Familia Metiche Notification Squad Shout out goes to Glow Makeup by Diana Thank you so much you badass bitch Thank you guys all for the support you guys always leave me If you want to be tomorrow's shout out All you guys have to do is subscribe to my channel Channel. Turn on the little campanita so you guys can get notified every single time que subo una pendejada. And comment down below anything, guys. Anything that you will think will make me smile, reír, cagarme de la risa, lo que sea. Comment it down below and I will be picking a winner for tomorrow's shout out. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you didn't, me vale verga. If you did, me vale verga. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Y los miro mañana. Bye, guys.